Hi, welcome to Gemstone Tarot, Thursday the 10th of June 2021 and it is the new moon solar eclipse in Gemini. I'm just going to check that. I suppose this would count as astrological news. New moon annual solar eclipse. There you go, that is the astrological news. So we are doing a card pull for each sign, just a quickie little overview of the energies that you're working with with the new moon solar eclipse and without further ado Aries okay this is very good actually we've got the eight of wands for you Aries and with the eight of wands because we've got a new moon and new moons is about new moons new moons is about planting seeds new moon is about planting seeds it's about starting things it's about i mean we're in mercury retrograde so it's not as straightforward as it should be but in general if it's in gemini planet of communication and talking then you've got the eight of wands and the eight of wands is about communication and talking this is a good time to get something off your chest to listen to other people and i think that's a really important point because there may be something that you really want to hear from somebody else but you need to also hone in on your listening skills with it because the person that you're dealing with might be trying to tell you something but in quite a subtle and indirect way and often with you Aries number one of the zodiac you know straight out of the gate the ram come on let's go you keep your heart on your sleeve and you say what you need to say which actually is a very admirable quality other people are a bit more kind of under the door about things so keep your ears pinned okay because there's something you're going to hear and there's something you need to hear and there's something you need to say thank you lovely aries okay taurus 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 that's weird because it's that one even though it's on the bottom yeah Taurus you've got the full moon and this is interesting full moon is about releasing it's about releasing it's my releasing mime releasing feelings because the full moon is a water sign card it's about subliminal things it's about water sign things it's about feelings and feels and feeling up to here with you know the glug glug of emotions there's something going to be released between this new moon and the next full moon which is over there and it's in about two weeks time have a look it's i can give you the date actually because i've got my diary let's do it properly i'll give you the date full moon full moon 24th so and mercury goes direct on the 22nd so between you are releasing emotions between now and then and it's good it's cathartic for you it may happen in weird ways which often do happen to taurians anyway it might happen in dreams or you know just in weird kind of thought processes oh it's exciting okay gemini gemini this is your new moon solar eclipse so what do you need to know <laughs> okay you can have two actually because it's yours it's your eclipse Gemini you get the lovers in reverse which is your card so the lovers is the Gemini card okay the lovers is also the choice you may feel the urgency especially with the new moon energy being in your sign to make a decision or a choice about something you get the three of wands in reverse when you get the three of wands it means that something has grown from the ace of wands it's doubled to the two of wands and it then becomes possible to grow it for the three but it's in the reverse something is needs to be looked at before you do make a choice something i would say between because we have the new moon solar eclipse today and then we have the full moon on the 24th and in between mercury goes direct would be better to act or make that choice after the full moon towards the end of the month but you will be tempted it will come up for you okay it will come up for you if you can cool your jets 
and just gather some more nuts, gather some more information about it, Gemini. You won't regret it. Okay, Cancer. Nice. Cancer, you get a reality check. Seven of Cups in reverse. This is a card you always want to get in the reverse. When you get it in the upright, it means that you are somehow in some kind of fantasy future scenario and you're, you can be kind of kidding yourself, you can be in denial, you could be working on future promises, it's a bit, you know, woohoo, kitty in a sweet shop, ethereal, fairground grabber, nothing is real type card. That's my miming the seven of cups. But when it's in reverse, things shake down. It's like the scales fall and you can see things for what they really are. So you can communicate this, you can use this information, but it will be very useful to you. It may not, like with all the signs, it may not properly play out until the end of June when Mercury goes direct because everybody's in a bit of a discombobulated state anyway, but you'll be the one that sees clearly before anybody else. I like that for you, my lovely Cancerians. Okay, Leo. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. When you get the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, it's time to think of yourself as being with a circus. So being on the road, that kind of lifestyle where you embrace change you feel as if you don't need security. Now, Leo's are very good at this in general because you're a strong fire sign, but of course you are of all the fire signs, the fixed fire sign. So, and you can be on the border with Virgo if you're closer to the Virgo birthday, so this may be for you too, but it would be very advantageous for you to keep a very open mind, particularly about work and security and commitment and where you're gonna be in five years time or whatever it is, whatever your plan is, it would be better for you to embrace a very fly by the seat of my pants, I'm gonna see what happens, there's a lot of opportunities and if there is a lack of commitment in something that you wanted to know was gonna be stuck to, it may be to your advantage that you're not hearing about that at the moment. So embrace it. Run away with the circus, Leo. That is my advice to you for this new moon. Okay, Virgo. Oof. Gosh, Virgo, how did you end up with three cards? Okay. Three cards it is. The lovers. Virgo, you have to make a choice. This is about making a choice. Sometimes about relationships, because it is called the lovers. Not always, though. It can be about something you love. So it can be about work, it can be about hobbies, life, whatever. But there is a choice to make and you don't feel like making it. Four of Cups is a card that talks about, mm, I wish this would just kind of go away. I wish this would just like happen on its own. I don't want any drama. I don't want a lot of pressure about it. I just want it to kind of disappear. It's probably not going to. When you get the lover's card, one, you have to make a choice, and two, you need to usually sacrifice something when you make that choice. There is some form of sacrifice involved. Now, strangely, you've got the king of wands in reverse here as well. So some of you, and this is just for one or two of you, are either on the borderline of Leo with your birthday, in which case this really applies to you, but so does the Leo one that was before you. Um, because that one was also for borderline um, cusp people. But also for some of you, it might be about a fire sign person in your life. Okay, Leo, Sagittarius or Aries. Good luck with that, Virgo. Okay, Libra. Nice, you get the Knight of Swords. This is about broadcasting or receiving the truth and you've got a new moon solar eclipse in Gemini, which is brilliant for that. It could be there's something you've not been able to be upfront about with somebody, there's something you've not been able to talk about or air or be honest about for fear of either hurting their feelings or you're not even quite sure about your own feelings. 
This new moon in Gemini gives you a voice, which again, like with all the other signs, may not come to fruition until we come to the full moon. And that energy is on about the 24th and Mercury goes direct on about the 21st. So think of it as by the end of the month, you have got something to say, you're clear about it, it's an authentic message, and it's definitely gonna get to the heart of a situation. I like that for you, Libra. Okay, Scorpio, Scorpio. Oh, Scorpio, oh my God. Death card, yay, this is your card, this is good. When a star sign gets their own card and it's a one card reading and it's a new moon eclipse, this is brilliant news. This is an absolute opportunity to mark this on the calendar as things changing, things taking a different direction. Now, as with all the other star signs, because we're in Mercury retrograde, it's a bit fudgy and a bit messy and it's a bit backwards and forwards and the timing is all a bit weird. But just think of this, by the end of June, this will kick off. This will be in motion, things will have moved up a gear, things are starting to change for you. For some of you, you will look back at this and think, this is the moment my life changed, this was it. It could be that you meet someone suddenly, you leave or start a career, whatever it is, you will know that yourself, but it's very fundamental. Things can never be the same again. It's like, um, I don't know, the universe just kicks you off into a different path and it's good. So embrace it, Scorpio. Embrace the absolute certainty of change. Oh, I love that for you. Okay. Not good at my star signs today. Sagittarius, <laughs> you get justice in reverse. So you might be dealing with a Libran, of course, but also you might be dealing with a legal matter, anything with red tape, letters, you know, legal matters that still have letters, the kind of ones that are serious enough that they won't do it all online, you know, things with wax seals and bonds and offices. There is something here about being very careful uh, in your energy about expressing yourself and also dotting the I's and crossing the T's. Be careful about the detail. The devil is in the detail for you. Sagittarians not always focused on detail because you're ruled by Jupiter, which always tells you to ignore detail and go big. Same as us Pisceans. But you know, if you can't do the detail, get somebody else. Go get a Virgo or a Scorpio or somebody, let them do the detail, but keep your eye on it. And also for you, Sag, things might not be fair in this situation. When you get justice in reverse, it's a good thing to accept that things might not be fair, but also the lack of fairness ultimately might go in your favor. I know, very often in life, it's the things where things worked against us where we get catapulted into somewhere really quite good. So just bear that in mind, okay? But keep an eye on those details. Capricorn, oh my God. Capricorn. You get the good old Ace of Cups. Now I always joke with Capricorns that you know, having to deliver the Ace of Cups to Capricorn is like kind of delivering the Seven of Swords to everybody else. They're like, really? Love? Hmm? Are you sure? Hmm? I've heard of this, the L word, the L bomb. Hmm, this will be for the other Capricorns. This is for you. Now look, it can be self-love. The Ace of Cups definitely starts with self-love, filling up your own fountain until it kind of runs over into everybody else. Doing a good stretch while I'm at it there, Capricorn. You'll like that. Multitasking. This is a lovely energy for you. This is a renewal of love. It's an abundance of love. It's chicka chicka love. Self-love, universe love. Just soak it up. Enjoy it. Don't question it. Don't analyze it, okay? And leave me a comment about it. Love you, Capricorns. Got my moon in Capricorn. I know where you're coming from with that. Okay, Aquarius. Oh, nice. Okay, Aquarius. 
There is something you've been wanting for a while. The Queen of Pentacles is what I call the Queen of Velvet Waiting. She's waiting for something and that's, you know, fair enough. But it's prosperous. This is good. Something that you've been patient about, you're playing the long game with. Something about the new moon in Gemini kicks something off for you as it does for many other people. It takes you into a stratosphere of getting what you want rather than just being in waiting for what you want. Um, it could be to do with an earth sign person, Capricorn, uh, Taurus or Virgo, but it could also be to do with finances, work, building something or just a relationship if that's what's going to make you feel fulfilled, okay? Previously where you felt you were in waiting, you're now going to see the results of something solid. But I would say, again, like with the other signs, nothing will actually come to fruition, particularly until we get towards that full moon at the end of the month. But I would also say to you that in July, where is it? We have, I'm just looking for the moons in July in my moon diary. Yeah, in July we have this new moon in Cancer and that also might have a very emotional effect on you. It's on about the 12th-ish of July. So don't think of this again, but you haven't been, as a quick fix, it's not. It's something you've been absolutely playing the long game for, but just know this is a sign it's on its way. Pisces. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, there may be, um, who else got this? I think it might have been Taurus. There may be a desire to start building something and it may be to do with writing, talking, internet, vlogging, making videos, any kind of communication stuff to do with Gemini. You will get the urge because we've got this new moon in Gemini energy. It's a mutable sign, like we are a mutable sign and we'll feel that mutable energy. At the same time, Mercury is retrograde. This is a, um, it's not a warning, it's just a tip. You don't have to take it, it's all your own choice. Be careful about starting something yet. Be careful about signing something yet, unless you absolutely have to, in which case you have to. Contracts and agreements and investments that happen while Mercury is retrograde very much get revised later. Now often it doesn't really matter because it gets revised and it usually gets revised for the better but I just want you to be aware that it's a very un-Piscean thing to want to get on and sort of build something straight away. It's not really what we're like. We're a bit ethereal, we're a bit, I'm sure it will happen when the time is right. You're gonna get the urge, or you're gonna get earth sign people trying to make you do it, trying to persuade you into it. Don't be persuaded, feel it out in your Piscean way. If you feel it's ready, okay. If you feel misgivings, wait until the end of the month, wait until after the 24th when we have that full moon, okay? And that kind of goes for everybody, that full moon energy. A lot of this new moon is gearing up for the energy at the end of the month when Mercury goes direct and we have that full moon. Oh, thank you everybody. Leave me a comment, do subscribe to the channel and I'll see you soon. Namaste.